welcome to the NISBA mailbag. I'm Aileen Abrams from NISBA's legal department. Today's question is, are school board committees subject to the open meetings law? The open meetings law requires that when a quorum of a public body meets to discuss public business, the public must be given notice of the meeting and allowed to attend unless one of the law's exceptions apply. Are board committees also subject to the open meetings law? The answer depends on who sits on the committee and the purpose of the committee. If the committee consists solely of board members, it is subject to the open meetings law. In addition, any meetings of such a committee composed of a majority of the board constitute a board meeting. Meetings of committees consisting only of board members also would become a board meeting if the committee members are joined in the discussion by board members who are not part of the committee and their combined number creates a quorum of the board. But that would not be the case if the additional board members attend the committee meeting only as observers. In comparison, advisory committees that do not consist exclusively of board members and are formed only to advise and make recommendations to the board are not subject to the open meetings law. But an exception applies if the core membership of the committee consists of board members. If this is the case, the committee is subject to the open meetings law, even though it includes non-board members. For additional information, contact any of the attorneys in NISBA's legal department. Thank you for watching, and remember, send your questions to mailbag at nisba.org.